Hi there, welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to learn about Azure Virtual Machine Types. As Microsoft says that for an optimized, it can be, when I say optimized, it might be optimized for CPU purpose, or maybe general purpose, or maybe memory optimized, or maybe storage is optimized, or, or graphics may be optimized, or high performance computing uh, so altogether it's everything is optimized and you can have a different type of virtual machines uh, and then uh, you can run your loads let's say if you have a SQL server it needs the CPU power but more than CPU it also needs the memory so if it's a memory optimized it would be good to have uh, when you are creating a type of a virtual machine you should you know consider any of these series like M series or DS or ES so these are the series is what uh, Microsoft calls so let's jump into Microsoft as your portal and try to see what kind of is your virtual machine types that what we have and if you see here uh, we have categorized like a general purpose compute optimized memory optimized storage optimized and GPU and high performance and each of these series is like Y and F or L or maybe NC or H all these are falls into a different optimized uh, performance based and these are better uh, for example general purpose is balanced by the CPU and the memory uh, type and it can be used for your web servers and these are the computing uh, optimized is for medium traffic of web apply applications or network appliances all that and for the databases memory optimized and for storage optimized it could be even SQL no SQL databases and GPU is uh, compute uh, intensive graphics intensive visualization or workloads then it, it's recommended like ND means uh, NVIDIA series you can use the GPU of NVIDIA's and then that gives you a great experience for the graphics and for the high performance it's actually processing and uh, uh, even the CPU everything is almost uh, optimized for you for the memory and all that and it can be used for batch uh, processing or analytics or molecular modeling purpose you can use so let's jump into Azure portal as we talk so when we create a virtual machine you can actually go for uh, sizing of these and you can see here the different type of optimization of VM series you see here you have the most used by Azure users or B series D series or you can even see the way we talked earlier about the uh, ideal for or CPU performance this are for general purpose all that you can even check this specific link which talks about what are the series we have and what is the starting price and uh, their uh, performance and when we use this so when you're trying to scale or when you're trying to design as your virtual machines you should be actually looking what is the purpose of that virtual machine what it needs to be optimized for your applications either CPU or memory or graphics or network performance so based on all that you can actually choosing a type of series that you wanted and remember that the pricing also differs if you see here the pricing is starting $48 per month for the DC and um, it would you know go from anywhere from here to you know thousand bucks even sixteen thousand bucks also when we go for largest memory optimized virtual machine so it all depends on your business case and the application demand because these kind of applications uh, are the machines needed for SAP HANA or S by 4 HANA or SQL or kind of you know applications might be demanding these things where it will have a 6 TB 12 TB of memory configuration think about it it's very expensive right and all these uh, things are available for you so when you try to create virtual machine you would be actually choosing a proper thing or you can even filter here by based on the RAM like you want a custom RAM of 16 GB or it just only shows the 16 GB or do you want a cost by monthly or hourly you can choose even CPUs you want you know more than eight CPUs you can choose so previous generations with the 16 GB is available and if you're choosing anything from 160 it would you know defer something else so you have your uh, previous generation computers with 32 GB 
and uh, you also have different series which gives the more memory like 112 GB of uh, memory and uh, you can depend on what purpose you are actually creating this virtual machine based on that you can size it and make sure the pricing also you know how much it is gonna cost you and uh, on top of it there are some of the limitations you cannot have every virtual machine type in all the regions definitely so it all depends on a region wise you see here i'm actually filtering for ease use if i'm choosing for a different region when i was creating a virtual machine like following this wizard and uh, within this wizard i can choose a different virtual machine size from the sizing and here uh, it's nothing but the same thing you can actually look at and uh, you can choose one of them like D or E series and make sure that you know what is that purpose you're creating and based on that you can give the required uh, required uh, components for better performance like hard disk or CPU or memory so this is how you're going to choose it and you can filter uh, based on the regions and all that so in this case it's taking as the issue so if I just change this to some other uh, region like west us so it's going to actually change for the west us uh, region so i'll just close this and uh, if i come back here one more time it's going to actually choose based on the west us too so whatever the series is that are available so this is how you can choose this uh, sizing of your virtual machine make sure that you choose and uh, do the proper design for your virtual machine so that it will uh, be a it will not be a bottleneck for your applications thank you for watching this i'll catch you in the next lecture